Welcome back to the third video of the Ubuntu Terminal Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be going over how to compile and execute code via the command line. However, before we get into that, I first want to go over how to remove files and directories. Because in the previous videos I showed you how to create those files and directories, I just never showed you how to remove them. So let's access our terminal. And as always, we're defaulted to our home directory. And if you remember, the folder that we were working in in the previous tutorial was our homework folder, when we had to edit the file and save it as, a, as an assignment. So, the command to remove a directory, it's rmdir. However, unless that directory is empty, Ubuntu won't remove that folder. As you can see, failed to remove homework, directory not empty. So the way we empty our directory is if we change directories, find out which text, which files are in there, and then we remove the files. And the command to remove the files in, the, in that folder, it's rm followed by the file name. So now if we list that directory again, we see we successfully emptied it. Now all we have to do is go back to our home directory and enter the command rmdir followed by the folder in which we want to remove. So now if we list our home directory again, we see that we successfully removed homework. Now getting into today and compiling and executing code via the command line, we're going to be using nano as text editor because that's the one we used in the previous tutorial which we're most familiar with. And creator access a particular file is nano followed by the file name followed by py because in this case we're going to be using python and it's important to include the .py rather than the .txt because when we access the file you see that Ubuntu has a feature which which activates syntax highlighting so depending on what language you use whether it be .py for python or .cpp for C++ the affiliated syntax highlighting will be included. So this is a simple program which adds, subtracts, multiplies, or divides whatever the user wants to do. And I actually included a small little error just so when we run the program we can see what a syntax error looks like via the command line. But before we actually run this program I just want to draw your attention to this top line here also known as the shebang line. The shebang feature is or the shebang character, I should say. It's the pound sign followed by the exclamation point, followed by forward slash USR for user, slash bin for binary, slash program in which we're going to be running this script, which happens to be Python. The shebang line must be included because this lets the kernel know which program we want to run this script. Okay. So now let's exit out of that. And the way we give permission for Python to run the script, we enter the command chmod for change mod followed by plus x followed by home oh, followed by slash home slash nix slash the file name. So in this case it's calculator.py. Now we've given Python permission to run the script and the way we run it is by period slash file name. In this case, it's calculator.py. And like I said, we have an error. And if you notice, when it sends a syntax error, it lets you know the name of the file, followed by what line the error is on, followed by an arrow pointing to the area of the line in which there's an error. So if we go back into our file, we'll see that on line 17, we're missing an equal sign. So now we save that with our control O function. And we'll save that. And then we'll exit back out of it. And we'll give permission once again to Python to run this script. And we will run this script. And as you can see, we are currently in the program. Now, this program was created inside a while loop. So as long as you don't want to quit out of the program by hitting 5, the calculator will continue to run. 
So let's test all of our mathematical operations. So let's go with addition first. Let's add 5 to 432. And we get 437, so addition works. So let's try subtraction. Let's subtract 43 from 438. And the subtraction feature works. Now let's try our multiplication feature. Let's multiply 60 by 43. 2580. Now let's try our division feature. Let's divide 400 by 4 and 100. Now let's try our quit feature. And as you can see, we go back to our home directory. One last thing I want to include in this tutorial is a new color for our color code. We know blue, white, and light blue so far, but now we've added green. Now what the green represents is an executable data file. In this case, our calculator.py file is an executable, it's an executable data file. Okay, that concludes this tutorial.